Welcome to my lecture online. You may have wondered why the derivative of e to the x is indeed e to the x. Well, here we can show you why it is the case. Well, first of all, you might remember that we were able to write e to the x as an infinite series. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the derivative of e to the x, which is the same as taking the derivative of that infinite series, and let's see what we end up with. So, this, presumably, is e to the x, right? And so that's the question mark. How do we know that's true? So we're going to take the derivative of the right side, and so the derivative of 1, that's equal to 0, plus the derivative of x is equal to 1, so we get 1 divided by 1 factorial, plus here the derivative would be 2x in the numerator, divided by 2 factorial, plus 3x squared over 3 factorial, plus that would be 4x cubed divided by 4 factorial plus 5x to the fourth divided by 5 factorial and you can see the pattern. All right, now we're going to simplify that and see what we get. So e to the x is equal to question mark. Well, here we have 1 divided by 1 factorial. Well, that's equal to 1 plus here, the 2, remember that 2 factorial, let's write over here, 2 factorial is equal to 1 times 2. So if we divide the numerator and the denominator by 2, we simply get x divided by 1 factorial, the only number that's remaining. And then here, we, we divide the numerator and the denominator by 3, which leaves us with a 2 factorial in the denominator. So this becomes x squared divided by 2 factorial plus and here we divide both the numerator and denominator by 4, which leaves us with a 3 factorial in the denominator, x cubed divided by 3 factorial, plus, and again, I believe, now you're beginning to see the pattern, this will be x to the 4 divided by 4 factorial, and so forth. And then you realize, well, what I have on the right side is exactly what I started with as a definition of e to the x, so therefore e to the x is indeed e to the x, which therefore has been proven to be equal to the derivative with respect to x of e to the x. So you can see it does indeed work. The derivative of e to the x is indeed e to the x.